Cheers is filmed before a live studio audience. Here comes Madam Nicotine. I just had the most disgusting morning of my life. Mm, can't wait to hear about it. I just spent the last hour at a no-smoking clinic looking at pictures of ugly ashtrays, rooms filled with smoke, people coughing. And the worst one was a cigarette snuffed out in the yolk of a fried egg. Mm. That stopped you from wanting a cigarette, eh? No, but I think it's put me off eggs for good. I'll be in the office chewing on my hair. This is going to be fun. Carla, what are you doing? I am going to Tormenta with this fresh pack no, of cigarettes. No, Carla, you mustn't. Carla, now grant it. She's been in rather a foul mood lately, but Rebecca has made a serious life decision. And what she needs now, more than anything else, is encouragement and support. And I, for one, am not going to fail her. Oh, Rebecca. What do you want, Bone Dome? Here, try these. They're menthols. <laughs> car, 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 car. No, oh, ladies' room, ladies' room, please. No, oh, I'm not following her in there again, Sam. I'm one puff away from paradise. Come on. Please. There's only so much polite conversation you can make yelling over a stall. Cliff, this isn't a dive. Well, no, by a dive, I meant that uh, it was uh, below street level. Oh, right. <laughs> hey, uh, let me introduce you there to my cronies. But I gotta warn you first, they can be a, a little bit crude, all right? Hey, guys, ba 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 boom, huh? <laughs> I uh, thought we'd met all Cliff's cousins. Oh, I'm not his cousin. No, she's my date. Would you uh, like a little seat here? I'll get you something to drink. It's nice to meet you. Likewise. Well, I'll tell you, she's what guys back down the farm where I come from would call ethereal. Woody, where exactly was this farm? <laughs> Sam, it uh, goes without saying, of course, that you'll be my best man. Oh, I, I don't want to do that. It makes me feel so uncomfortable. I mean, a best man has to give a toast, doesn't he? Ah, oh, well, I, I took the liberty of writing down a few things. Then I'd be honored. <laughs> oh, that's great. <clears throat> what are you doing for a bachelor party? Well, uh, actually, I haven't any plans. Well, would you like to have one tonight? Uh, what do you think, darling? Uh, would uh, I like a bachelor party? I don't think so. <laughs> well... While I feel that particular ritual is as passe as taking the top knot of one's dead enemy, I will not deprive you of the experience, immature though it might be. She's a gamer. <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen. You know, I, I was listening to a rock and roll station on my way over here. You know, it put me in the mood. There was a passage in one of those tribal songs that I feel, uh, well, is the keynote for this evening. Everybody have fun tonight. <laughs> Everybody Wang Chung tonight. <laughs> oh, you, uh, you stay right there. She's one of my patients. <laughs> Karen, I hope you're doing this for the money, because this certainly won't square things between you and your father. <laughs> Sir, you know, you've been uncharacteristically mute. I mean, surely you have some opinion on this. No, no, do it, man. I, I think you should walk off together in the sunset, you know, live happily ever after. Translation, Fraser Crane, you're a complete fool if you get married. I did not say that. Now, listen, Sam, I know exactly what you're thinking. I mean, every fiber of your body speaks it. You live it every day. Give me one good reason why the single life is better than being married. Okay, uh, well, let's see. When I, when I get home, I don't have to explain to anybody uh, where I've been or what I've been doing. If I was out having a good time, I don't have to call home to see if I can stay later. Oh, that reminds me. 
there, right there. There you go. See, that's what you're losing, man, your freedom. You know, I, I can eat donuts for dinner if I want to. Nobody nags me to put down the toilet seat. I am the king of my own remote control. I can date anybody I want to. And if somebody better turns up, and somebody always does, bless their hearts, then I can date them the very next night. You know, I don't have to worry about forgetting an anniversary, no mother-in-laws, no father-in-laws, no laws, period. I only asked for one reason. <laughs> oh, my Lord, having one last carnal fling with some fellow in a Speedo is beyond belief. No, no. Frazier, I mean, just because some guy strips in her honor doesn't mean they're going to wind up in a sack together. No, 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 you don't know my Lilith. I tell you, once her libido's cut loose, I mean, there's no tying her down. Unless, of course, that's what she's into for the evening. <laughs> Jesus, right now she's with him. Oh, oh, hey, hey, come on, take it easy here. She's with that man, that, that sweating, chiseled, Frazier. pulsing, throbbing, hey, hey, sexy... Hey, 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 whoa. <laughs> Cream de menthe? <laughs> you couldn't find some water? <laughs> oh, Let's get on with our life together. Oh, thank you all. Yeah, way to go, Doc. Good night, Doc. Good night, Doc. Oh, Lilith, just uh, promise me two things. Never leave me for another, and uh, don't throw up on me in the cab. 